So there's a big myth that, that stress has to be there. It's been there, we have to deal with it, we have to live with it. We don't have to live with it. And I'm going to share with you the simplest, number one way to reduce stress in 60 seconds or less. Would you like to see that? Yeah. Okay. When I tell you this though, you're going to say, oh Swamiji, that's so simple. It can't be possible. But I'm going to show you it's possible. So let's get ready to sort of get comfortable in your seats. Okay, take a nice deep breath. That's good, relax. Congratulations, you just did it. Yes. What did we just do? Breathe. We breathed, that's right. Right, now Swamiji, we know how to breathe. You're not, not teaching us anything new here. But what happens when we start stressed, when we can start getting stressed? We stop breathing. We hold our breath, and one of three things happen. We get frightened, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We get angry, oh you, oh you, oh or we just sort of zone out. I'll play some video games, man. I'll, I'll go party with my friends and hope this all blows over, you know. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable and it doesn't have to be. Science says anytime we do something new for three weeks, we create new neural pathways in our brain. So if you just, every time you start to feel stressed, notice you're not breathing and go, <sighs> you've just diffused your stress. And if you do that, if you watch that for three weeks, you will start feeling better. You'll start catching yourself quicker, diffusing your stresses quicker, and starting even to prevent your stresses. So let's practice. Think of the thing that caused the most stress for you on campus. Think of it now, I promise it's a solution here. We're not gonna just cause some pain. Feel that way, some people feel it in their neck, some in their shoulders. Feel that pain, feel that stress, and breathe right into it. Ready? Let's go. And exhale. Blow that stress out. Good. Again, feel that stress. Blow it out. Has it diminished a little bit? Anybody? Has it come down even just a little bit? I'm from... And we are all... All right. You guys are on. Awesome. All right, give it up for Swami G. Come on now, give it up for Swami G. Clap, y'all, y'all, y'all stressed, y'all. You guys are stressed, you're busted. Today we're going to talk about how to reduce stress in 60 seconds or less. What are some of your biggest stresses in college? College. <laughs> That's important. Money. Money. Okay, money is one of the two top two causes of stress in this college. Grades, midterms, work, work, work. <laughs> homework. That's the number two call. Uh, workload yeah. and bike. My biggest stress in my life came when I was in college. I was a freshman and I was in school for radio, television, and film. And then what happened was my parents were in a car accident. And they did not survive the car accident. They died. And when I went back to school, Going to college, and that, that was the case. That was a whole kind of stress. Very gently tapping your hand for our job. You say, even though I feel, and then you say whatever is your feeling, even though I fully love and accept myself. Okay, now tap the top of your head ten times and say, I'm stress free. Now just at the tips of the eyebrows, tap in there, say, I see my way clear of all my stresses. I see my way clear of all my stresses. Wonderful. Now to the sides of the eyes. I sense life is going to be good in college from now on. I sense life is going to be good in college from now on. There's something you can do right there. Wake up in the morning, no matter what you feel, Smile. Just force a smile. <coughs> Everybody smile really crazy. And as I, I'm not happy. <laughs> you can't do it. As we think, so is our reality. Okay. So if we say I'm not going to be stressed, you're getting less stress. 
you are taking control of your situation. What's happening is there's other things outside of you that are saying, oh yeah, but what about this? And what about this? And what about this? This is where lifestyle comes in. This is where eating healthy kicks in. This is where herbal therapies can come in, uh, incense to help you calm down. Telling the truth to yourself, you're, you're integratively whole. When you're not telling the truth, your system breaks down. Okay. Everybody stand up, let's all do this. Find a partner. If you want to come and step out, okay? So, put the arm out first or you want to? No, ask first. Okay, what is your name? Linda? There's a whole lot of things that can be done. And I teach them, depending whether it's a one hour session for breakouts or development curriculums. I just wrote this. I won't call it a book because you guys, I know, don't need another book to read. It's real thin. I call it Pinterest on paper. Okay? <laughs> there's just pictures, there's quotes, there's a story from different college students, how they had a stress in college and what they did holistically to work with it. Don from. And I'm a stress buster. And I'm a stress buster. So my volunteers, you to get a buck. Uh, my name is Alexander St. Julian. I'm from Polk State College in New Haven, Florida. Uh, what I learned with this session is like stress is like a state of mind, and you definitely need to um, put yourself in that right state of mind to release that stress. Hi, my name is Steven Gilbertson. I'm, I'm representing Broward College in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What I got from the seminar is that when you tell something that's not truthful, it weakens your mind body, and mind and body. So therefore, you must be honest with yourself, be honest with others, because it'll make you stronger. Also, dealing with stress, it's going, you're going to have it in your subconscious. It's just a matter of dealing with it properly and adequately to succeed in life. Hello, my name is Jabril Titus and I'm from George Permanent College and I learned that stress is from your subconscious and you have to find ways to deal with it and that it's not always what it seems to be. And you can take time out your day and just release your stress by thinking of other ways that you can handle your life situations.